Hello and welcome to Kickling Gaming. I'm your host, Shalindo, and today we're playing some more Crusader Kings 2, and I already got into a fight. All I did was raise all the troops in the way we normally been doing to uh, avoid you guys having to wait for that. So I uh, raised all the troops between episodes, and uh, one of them was already already there. So hopefully, uh, I don't know what happens when you raise a troop that has no morale right underneath a, you know army like that. I think they just straight out lose. Oh, majority of the population. Even though they got 20 times as many people, they still lose because they were, you know, right there. Silliness. Okay. What is our supply limit? Up here it's good. Up here it's very good. Here it's... I think it's pretty much 20k no matter where we go. Oh, down here it's in the 18, 15, 18k. Uh, so let's start up here. We're going to get together 20k and then we're going to march up in there. 20k and march up in there just over and over and over again. Uh, that was 20k until somebody else showed up. There we go. Send you guys over to here. Send you up here. Now we just wait for some other people to show up. Oh, we, we, we're declaring war on both these, or just one? I can't tell. Okay, you can go there. You can go there. Okay. Merge. And send you here. I think that's everybody. And then this one's still just going to go there. Let's get rid of this one. Merge you guys. No, 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 no. Get rid of you. Merge you guys. Send you to Meckleburg or where? Werrell. Werrell? Wer Whirly? Whirly. Aw, oh, Whirly. Zelia has been converted. Usurped. Okay, cool. Victory. Okay, cool. Everybody else just slowly kind of wander up here. That'll work out. These guys are all doing the sieging thing. So that th those things will be done shortly. Now I'm not planning on making any armies that are small enough that they can get beaten by any of the enemy armies. So we're going to suffer, suffer some attrition. Not really concerned. It'll be okay. We got enough troops that, you know, we can lose some to attrition. Oh no, got a tiny little little fight between like a dozen people on each side up there. There we go, I think we won. Everybody's still showing up, just kind of wandering up to northwest, northeast, northwest, east, Europe. Uh, da, 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 diplomatic protocol Chamberlain I can use uh, I can always use more men so famous Harold well versed in the diplomatic protocol has arrived at our court he is proposing his services to us and our Chamberlain is saying that we can make good use of this man uh, Leamico Leamico who is this Leamico fella let's search for him Leia ooh Princess Leia Miko. That must be him. 100. Let's take a look at him. I don't know. He doesn't seem to be that impressive. He's just kind of blah. Did I pay money for this guy? There's other Leia Mikos, but I don't see him any. I don't see any of them. Maybe this guy. I see this guy being pretty decent. But I can't tell which one was the one that just showed up. Oh well. Okay, well, soon we're going to have about 20,000 here. That's close enough. No, don't disband. Silly people. Go to Rostock. Rostock! And the people in Rostock who are... Uh, watching my video right now, we're like, why is he pronouncing, pronouncing our area that way? It's kind of weird. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding. There's no one watching from this area of the country. Everyone who's watching my channel is in either Mecklenburg, 
or whirly then no no one watches in reverse stock I just for some reason they they don't like my channel but my channel is awesome over in uh, Lundberg over here they watch it all the time it's like it actually has its own TV station right here I'm telling you making it big over there in Lundberg merge going to see season I was on TV there once no I wasn't I wasn't on TV at all victory we're winning as always painting the map our color whoa so I lost Oh, they're getting chased around. Okay. Yeah, you guys keep running for as long as you can. Because I'm not really going to be able to help you right there. Apparently this is all they can do is just pick on my little armies. Oh, no, oh, oh, now we're chasing you. Chased our people, now we're chasing your people. You're not getting away from us that easy. Come back here. You started this. We're gonna end it. That one's done. Go over to upper. It's, it's funny how this is upper Celestia and this is lower Celestia, but on the map it's kind of like, you know, north south. I'm guessing mountains. Nope, there's no mountains there. Why is it upper upper this way, lower that way? I don't know. Uptown Celestia. Marriage. Ooh, we can get married to our wife finally. She turned out really well. Wow. Genius. All those good stats. Diligent. Great eminence. She's she should be ruling the empire, not me. Wow. 23, 5, 12, 12, 3. Wow. Good wife. Good wife. Thumbs up. My brother educated her, so good job, bro. Uh I'm impressed. Victory, 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 victory. Lots of victories. Uh, all these are done. Send them up there. Uh, what else is left to do? I've conquered all the areas I wanted to conquer. Why do I have to then blow up all their armies? I mean, we won, basically, right? We fulfilled the ambition to get married. Fulfill ambition to have son. See, we're about the same age. I'm 21, she's 16. I mean... It's, uh, in this time, day and age, it'd be, you know, very, just, just a young couple, you know? So, still the young, it's gonna be weird when this guy's, like, 95 and he's called the young. The feuding between King Alpert the Bold and King Admar of Pannonia. Aw, he was our, wasn't he our, um, no, he wasn't our regent. Alpert the Bold and King Admar of Pannonia. So these are two different kings. Uh, and can no longer be ignored as your vassals. Both have brought grievances against each other in hopes of you giving their support. I can either say I like you or I like the other guy or you're both acting like children. So this guy is not one of mine. This guy is one of mine. Admar. He's a Gandalfingy. King Admar has my support because he's a Gandalfingy. Plus one to stewardship. Hooray. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Getting more stewardship. I'm loving this this rulership thing. It is so good. It's my favorite thing ever. Since sliced bread. Let's go take out Poland's army because they're right there just kind of staring at us from across the way. Uh, oh, more people quarreling. Who's related to me? Okay, this guy's a lowborn. But this guy is a Fraticelli. We're gonna demand he, he's not even gonna, uh, uh, gonna uh, uh, become a Catholic. So we're gonna say we are like Mayor Chrysogonos. Walking alone on the battlements late one night, you suddenly see a stunning, a shining white shape appearing in the sky above you. It seems to be moving towards you or maybe away. There's a strange sound in the air too, like whispering. What is going on? Negative two stability. Oh wait, oh it's wrong game, wrong game. Uh, the virgin has appeared to me. I've been blessed, and I become zealous. Or strange how clouds and wind can play tricks on one's mind, and I become cynical. Uh, we're gonna become zealous because I'd like the zealous trait a lot. 
I think it's a very cool trait. Cool, excellent. Okay, well, we got a army here. Oops, I unpaused when I wasn't supposed to. We have an army here, we now have an army there. Let's go ahead, let's let them merge up here with all these armies walk into the same. Actually, no, they're not. Um, we're gonna we're gonna just crush that army real quick. You, where are you going? You're going down there. You go down there then, and you go here, so we don't suffer as much attrition. You, why don't you go take care of my problems? You go take care of this one, and then come back and take care of that one. Okay, sieging. They'll be sieging. We're gonna blow up that army, then blow up that army. Winning. You go down there. Desperately need you guys to actually take out these armies. This will be sieged, and we'll have this one. Can't believe after after fully sieging all of them. I still don't have a higher percentage uh, of um, war score. It's kind of crazy. All right. Um, hmm. How about you go here? You go here. You guys have, have done a great job. You go here and you come down here and siege something. I wonder what would happen if I just declared war on the entire world. And just sent all the armies in and blew everybody up simultaneously. We probably could pull that off at this point if we really wanted to. Wouldn't be terrible. Victory. Could we pull that off? Probably not going to try it. It would be impossibly, awfully hard. Not impossibly hard, though. Go away, screens. Pause for a second. Uh, the Ilkhanate. Look at that. Mongols. They are the exception. They are number two. 104,000 in the army. Wowzers. They are our new, um, new big enemy. We really want to take down the Arabians. They are getting stronger again. They're at 70,000. I want to I wanna have them... Basically, I want to break their entire, their entire power structure. Look at this. The Abbasids broke away. Remember the Abbasids used to rule this whole area down here? Well, they broke away down here. And, uh separated from the Azimids. It looks like the Azimids might be attacking. Are they attacking? Nope, they're attacking up there. I really want them to attack down here. Are they in truce with Khalif? Yep, they're in truce with this guy, so they can't attack him yet, but they will, eventually. Go Abbasids, I'm very proud of you. It's about time you guys got back on top. Uh, Azimids, 80% decadence, 39,000 strength. And down here we've got the Abbasid Sultanate, 17,000 strength. Um, we want to keep crushing the Azimids for sure. Because they are still our primary opponent. Oh, the Mongols are too far away for us to really worry about right now. Oh, there's another army. Gotta make sure we keep crushing those. They're the thing stopping us from winning right now. Oh, another army up here too. Hello. Be our friend. Let's just go ahead and move right through the center here. You go up here. Okay, we finished sieging there. Go ahead and take those on. Take him on. Take on them all. Take all of them on. Crusade for Portugal. Portu Portugal. I'll just call it Portugal. How about that? His Holiness Pope Donus III has been swayed by the cries for help from the Christian population. We're going to click this so it doesn't make noises. Um, from help from the Christian population of the Kingdom of Portugal. He urges all able-bodied men of Europe to take up arms against the evil Basha Abdallah II of Umayyad Empire in order to secure Portugal for the, from the clutches of the Mohammedan Infidels. God will grant the pilgrims remission of sins in heaven. Okay. 
Well, that means we're going after Portugal, and that'll put a that'll put a huge dent in um, the Umayyad. We're going after that whole area. Wow. It's like boom. So what we're gonna do? I really wish I was out of these wars already. Um, we are going to declare war on the Umayyad if they let us. If they don't have a truce with us already, let's see if they do. I can't tell if they do, but if they do, yeah, they do. Is that us? No, that's the Pope. Uh, let's check out where am I? Seriously, go to me. No, not to me up there. Go to me on my capital. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I have a truce until 1230? Boo. Yes, I do have a truce. So there's no point in me waiting. I was going to, uh, like, claim one of their duchies, like Leon or something. And that way I'd be able to connect to Portugal if we were able to obtain it. I doubt anyone on our side of the map has a claim to Portugal. So if I win, I should be able to get Portugal. So, yeah, let's offer to join. But we can't do that until we're done with our war, I think. So we're just going to have to wait. Let's make sure we get done as fast as we can. blow up as many armies as we can as quickly as we can and say we want out of this as much as you do now let us go my wife is pregnant that was quick okay well family time captured okay victory good uh, you can go see somewhere else I'm a little shocked that we don't have this thing wrapped up already. It's pretty obvious who's winning. I'm going to have this army siege straight up into Sweden. Uh, you, go down there and smack them around and come back. The architect has brought before uh, brought before your court proposing the construction of a new castle in Nicomedia for less resources than such a massive project would normally require. I love the rulership focus. It is so good. Um, before you can give the, him an answer, Ardoin de Perithorin, your steward, whispers in your ear, I know this man. I believe we can trust him. 400 gold for a new castle? Sure. Yes, please. Go for it. Peasant Revolt, I don't mind. Got to take out this army. I think if we take out this one, we're out of one of the wars at least. Move him to here so he can't retreat in that direction. You can go here and then down to there. You can go here. Uh oh, you're still, still sieging. How about you just kind of run around and blow up all their armies? Just run into the stuff. That's all you got to do. You're big enough. You're strong enough. People like you. Uh, majority of Sinai. Okay. Catholic. Uh, Sinai is Catholic now. Going to get this as a peace offer. Okay. Something to take care of. Hold on. We got this area. Let's make sure we've got... All the big dogs up here. Uh, Pannonia, Aquitaine, Aragon could be up here, as well as Ingleland, Land of the Ingles. Yeah, Aragon and Ingleland. We'll give them those two new places. What are they called? Jelland, Jelland. Jilland like a felon. Um, hmm. Aragon. Grant. Finn. Is that there? Finn? Yes. Okay, we're back where we need to be. Sweet. You guys, you're done up there. Go, go somewhere else. You, come down here. Smash that army. Victory. Smash, smashy, smashy. Come on, guys. 
You go down here first. I want to get rid of that army pretty badly. Hey, the Emperor's leading this army. I'm sure that'll go well. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ireland? It says the Duke is slandering me. Nah. Clearly he isn't. Okay, stop. You go here. Pick on that army. Oh, he got away. Seriously. You can go up there. You can go up here. We're just smashing armies at this point. I think that's all really we need. We, we have left that we need to do. Get rid of their armies. We put some organizers up front here. This guy's getting away. Seriously, all my organizers passed away. Are you kidding me? You are kidding me. I have been kidded. The kid has been kid. A lot of times I don't know what I'm saying. I just say stuff. I don't know if you've noticed. You go there. Uh, beat up that army somewhere down there. You beat up that army. Got another one to 100%. Finally. Okay. Surrender. That is... Um, this up here. Okay. So we need to give... We have four things to give away. We probably should give it to France. Building up France some. Probably want to give one to, um... Middle Francia is supposed to... It should be up here, I would think. So let's give one to Middle Francia. Rostock. We'll give another one to... Uh, who else can we get? Sicily is underrepresented up here. So throw one at Sicily. Okay. And Frisia is fairly close, but could be closer. We can grab the sim one to... Uh, actually, you know what? We got some down here that probably could be... Uh, Armenia is certainly underutilized. Let's give one to Armenia. Yes, give that one to Armenia. The Armenian queen. Alright, and we're going to finish up these uh, wars shortly here. And then we're going to join up with this... Uh, Catholic Crusade for Portugal. Hopefully we'll get there in time to actually do some good and uh, get our name on the uh, on on the area there. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And remember, keep it clean.